what is going on strikers fam and welcome back to the channel and uh today for critical moments there really isn't much to cover so i figured i would talk about a thing that's kind of well not got me peeved or really mad but really more or less concerned or confused um but just uh last week uh, i did announce on the channel that um universal studios is going to be opening up uh in the five and dime uh monster makeup um and we didn't really know what it was going to be, but I think it was kind of already in the name. Like, there really wasn't no uh, secret behind it. So, it ended up being exactly what it said. Uh, Monster-themed makeup, of course, to promote and um, push forward with the Epic Universe. As I'm expecting, or I guess you, I guess you could expect, some more Epic Universe uh, references or things, merchandise, etc. in the General Universal Studios um, uh, theme park. As we've already talked about, the Legacy Store getting its rework, sad to say it go. Kind of my favorite store to go into over the studios next to it, but uh, that's kind of just me. Like, there's just something about it that's kind of nice. It was like nostalgic, kind of brings you like, almost like back in time. I'm kind of exaggerating a bit with the back in time, but if you've ever been to the Legacy Store, you understand how that's going to be the epic universe preview center i'm kind of curious to see how much of that is going to actually change um so i'm expecting it to probably open probably fall if you're going to push it back closer to the epic universe uh, opening day which i'm hoping to cover which if you're not already subscribed to the channel you probably should enjoy the strikers family but anyways going to the meaning of this video first of all i've got my g fuel I am drinking Compound B, no longer on uh, the store, but you might get lucky finding it on Amazon. But yeah, anyways, um, I, as for me, I'm honest. If I like something, I like something. If I don't, I don't. It's kind of the whole point of critical moments. I'm gonna tell you what I do like, what I don't like. I'll bring in the news, kind of give ideas, so on and so forth. Uh, as it should be but the makeup is gonna cost you for the full face it looks good don't get me wrong it's a hundred and twenty five dollars and for mid face which I'm guessing is like this level I'm guessing or like half of it I'm guessing is like 65 which that is more reasonable and I get they have to make money uh, for all the billions they put into epic and just the park recently alone um, kind of also reason for like budget cuts and the park not being open as late as usual like it usually has been closing as of late like six and seven o'clock which is like really really early watching traffic guys um but yeah i think 125 for something you're gonna wash off by the end of the day um if you're gonna spend that much money you probably want to get it done as early as possible like park opening like eight nine ten o'clock so you want to get that pretty park pass, get that done over with, so therefore you have a full day of it. The force will be washing it off when you go to bed. Before you go to bed, I should say. Um, but I think 65 is more acceptable as a full face price. And maybe if we want to keep half face, be like 35. Hello. Um, so yeah, 35 for like maybe like half the face done or a portion of it compared to, and then just have full face being 65 I think is more reasonable for a lot of people and if, especially if you want people to uh, acknowledge or like the idea of it but of course it's going to fit better in the epic universe monster um, park land or whatever you want to call it world I don't care um, but having a little dash of epic in studios isn't going to kill anybody or hurt really anything um, that's kind of what I want to talk about. Just kind of think 125 is a lot of money for a lot of people. Um, even if it's just the idea, maybe we go down to maybe 60 and 90, somewhere in there, maybe, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of going to be it for Critical Moments. Uh, isn't much, but what about Epic Universe are you most excited about? And uh, yeah, like I said before, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'm going to be covering um, launch month of Epic Universe. And I'm st and I am stoked for that and excited and hyped. <sighs> Hope you saw that. Can you actually? It's actually cold out today. Um, 
as I'm walking to the store. But uh, yeah, as always, keep energized, subscribe, join the Strikers family, and I'll see you all in the next one.